For the past eight years, Naomi Miller has been a very busy woman. Miller is the president of Adamic Youth Football and also the one that started the youth and high school football programs. It, it was just, it was out of necessity. We knew if, if, uh, if our kids were going to play, um, especially the younger one, if they were ever going to play for the school district from Adamic, then we had to start it. The important part, which they did a great job of, and they only had the vision to start it K through K through eight that first year, um, you know, knowing that we would add the high school team the following year. Um, you know, you heard of some programs that had started just a high school program and tried to add to youth after. Um, you know, but I think this was definitely done the right way, and I see. I think you see that in the numbers now. I think a lot of people looked at it the kind of the way I went into the initial meeting. You know, thinking like, yeah, you know, we've been down this road before. You know, people have talked about starting football. It hasn't happened. You know, we'll see if it actually happens. But then after people met Naomi and, and Fritz and knew the, you know, the plans they had and the amount of work that they were putting behind it, you know, people came out with a great feeling. The school's been here for 50 years uh, up to this point. And, um, you know, for a good number of years, people have always asked, you know, why doesn't Madonna Valley uh, have football? Uh, felt like that it was a community that could thrive and support such a program. Getting multiple football programs up and running is no easy task and required an enormous amount of work. To begin with, um, it was it was just, just myself. And um, so to start with, I had to figure out how to, you know, establish us as, a, as an organization um, and have us be, be um, you know, a, a, tax-free uh, uh, nonprofit. It's, it's truly hard to put it into words, the amount of work that she has put into this program and that she put in to start it. Um, you know, one way to look at it is I actually changed my phone plan when the program started. Uh, I didn't have unlimited minutes at the time and I uh, kept going over my phone bill each month and my wife was like, you know, what's going on here? Why, you know, why are we going over the minutes? But it was because we you know, there's so much conversation going on, and that was just one person. I mean, she was doing that with everybody, making sure everything was run correctly, that we had everything we needed, everything was being done behind the scenes. Um, and, and to be honest, that's continued to, till, you know, through today. Uh, it's still the same thing. Um, you know, the amount of hours that she puts into it, it's like having a second job, basically. My husband and I, um, we, we loaned the program money um, to start and uh, subsequent years for probably the first three or four years um, we loaned the program money but uh, we never took out any sort of a bank loan um, in the program name it was just you know personal funds that 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 we loaned and and we've always owned everything free and clear the program has never um, you know been in debt to anyone she was transparent from the beginning I mean she and the people associated with the Madonna McHugh football from the start were very transparent, um, open. They wanted everybody to be a part of the process and certainly with the, the uh, future partnership with the school district, um, wanted to just main, maintain that communication. You know, we've had a good working relationship and uh, you know, mutual respect um, in the effort that it takes. Um, and it's been kind of a neat, uh, you know, a neat thing to see, especially with it going up to the high school and now, you know, myself working for an athletic director and Matt Lash, but still having that aspect of Madame Youth Football, um, you know, helping monetarily with, with a lot of the stuff still. It hasn't been fully taken over by the, by the high school. So, um, you know, I joke at times, it's almost like working for two ADs uh, sometimes, but it's, it's really been, um, you know, a great group effort. And ultimately, everybody has put the kids first. All that work had to be woven in with everyday life. It's all consuming. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I'll take, you know, maybe a day here and a day there off work uh, just because I don't want to miss games and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I work evenings, so I, I could do a lot in the morning. Um, my, uh, my youngest started going to school full time in, in uh, seventh grade once he got into middle school. So then I've had more time on my hands to, to contribute. But, it was it's a just huge effort but it's not just during the season um, it's it's after the season they were blessed in the fact that their entire family was involved obviously Naomi Fritz and both boys uh, you know with both boys playing it was really a family venture uh, for them um, 
but again, you you know, you're sacrificing some work hours at your job and and uh, you know, free time at home and all that stuff just to put the effort into making sure this program not only was built but stays. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and the undertaking that that she and her family took on is just it's unbelievable. You find time, you find the balance. When you're in, you're all in. I, I don't I don't like to quit anything. Um, and uh, you know, it, it's um, it was it was a sacrifice. The the family has, you know, I've I've put my kids. Oh my, even even now, you know, they they come home and I've got them out in the equipment trailer helping me go through girdles, you know, or out in the concession trailer helping me unload food. You know that my my kids have bought in, and uh, and 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 my husband certainly 100%. All the hard work, dedication, time, and effort has paid off as the teams have continued to grow from the start. Having the youth um, win those championships and having the high school, you know, um, make the playoffs. The middle school league, there are no playoffs, but they had a great record and they had a great season. And that lends to, to the, the validation and show people, kind of put us on the map. It's just great for community and school spirit, for, first and foremost. I mean, that's another team that uh, is having success and it just adds to homecoming. It adds to the fall season. Um, you know, it's, again, more kids involved in something. I don't have this sense anymore that we're trying to prove that we're not just going to melt away, you know, because I think initially that's something people think about is, hey, this is somebody starting up some backyard program. It's going to be some backyard football thing. It's not going to last. Well, you know, we've been here for eight years. We're not going anywhere. Hopefully people realize uh, there's no way for them to fully realize the amount of work that she's put into it, but hopefully they realize somewhat how, how much it's taken and, and the effort it's taken and, and really that it's a year-round thing. It's not just, uh, it's not August, uh, you know, November and then we're done. That's not how it works. It's, you know, it's, it's August to August. We've uh, taken our bumps and bruises along the way, but I think we're established. I think the community recognizes that we're here, we're here to stay. Um, and uh, and, and uh, I think this, the community has developed a tremendous love uh, for the sport and for the excitement and um, well, we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm.